Oh God. I always wondered what the end of that song was. I just remember it saying Glory Glory Man United and I didn't know what it said after that. So this is my first attempt at a match preview or talk I know no, it's a bit late, but a match preview not talking about a Sunderland game. So I'm gonna try and keep the Sunderland talk down to a minimum in this video, but Well, what a game this is. The Manchester Derby. Um this is I think there's um I think there was a stat or some sort of article that said this was gonna be the most previewed game. So the most watched game in the world, apparently, in world football. And, you know, and admittedly, um, when Pep Guardiola and Jose Mourinho were respectively appointed at their own clubs, this was the game I was thinking, I'll be very interested to see the Manchester Derby, to see these two tactically go at each other. This is... Mm, this is definitely game of the weekend. Um, I mean, certainly in, in the Premier League is concerned. I mean, Celtic and Rangers is certainly a huge game in and of itself. But, you know... Oh, God. I just kind of, you know. Right, okay then. Let's get into this. So, I mean, at the start of the season, right, I tipped these two as the favourites, um, these two as the favourites to win the Premier League. Um, I think even though Pep Guardiola's methods will take time to settle into the Premier League and it'll certainly take time to seep into the players, you know, they've still got, in my opinion, the best squad on paper to try and go and win the league. But Manchester United, um, a club that, I'll be honest, has underachieved for the last couple of seasons, given that they finished seventh and fifth. Which, although for me, I don't think that's suffering. For you know, that's compared to what they've been used to. That isn't very good in itself. Um, the best they finished in the last few years was fourth. Now, Jose Mourinho will definitely get them Champions League football. That I think that's a certainty for me. But at the same time, that you know, Mourinho will be the person to try and bring success and trophies once again to Old Trafford. Um, and the only reason I had um, Man United even close to try and compete for the title um, this season was because of that man, because of Jose Mourinho. Um, I still I don't think Man United's squad will win it because I don't quite think they've got enough, just enough quality on par with City to go out there and try and win it. But you know, this I mean it depends if they beat them in this game, then this could be this could go a long way. Now this to me is crucial because what I'm interested to see because if this game is level. Say if it was nil nil going into the final twenty minutes, I doubt it would be. But if it was nil nil going into the final twenty minutes, then does Mourinho go all out? Do, who goes all out attack? Who's the braver of the two teams to try and go for it? Obviously, if you asked, I, I, I'm going to guess that if you ask a majority of Manchester City fans right now, here and there, they'd probably take a point. It's away at Old Trafford. You've got the Red Devil um, crowd behind them. You've got, without Aguero and Jose Mourinho tactically, you've got Pogba, Ibrahimovic, you know, Mkhitaryan can, can, can feature if he's needed. You know, there's a lot of qual there's still a lot of quality players at Old Trafford. And it's, I mean, obviously, I was, I was just looking at this. There's a stat here on um, in an article previewing the game that um, Wayne Rooney has got 11 goals in Manchester Derby's in all competitions. That's pretty decent. Um... What can be said? I almost certainly think that a draw would definitely suit Man City a lot more than Manchester United for the reason, especially with the fact they don't have Aguero. Now, in some respects, that shouldn't really matter too much because City have got the players to, to try and hurt Manchester United without them. You've got De Bruyne, you've got Sterling, you've got, is it not, not Nolte? You know, my, my pronunciations are horrendously atrocious, so bear that in mind. The, you know, David Silva... And plenty of others, I'm sure I'm forgetting. That I hear natural. There's plenty of players that can score um, in this game for them. But without Aguero, that is almost, that's definitely a huge. I mean, one player doesn't make a team, but it's but uh, the exception is when. Remember when I said a few years ago Liverpool wouldn't finish fifth when sorry finish in the top four when they sold Luis Suarez because Suarez made such a big difference to the way they played and was instrumental that even if they were playing crap. He would end up stepping up the plate and would get them the win just because of that. It's the same with the, it's the same city with Aguero because Aguero is definitely the best player in the Premier League. I think certainly the best striker, but he's also he's a worker. He runs around. He tires that he he terrorises the living worryingness and whatever it is out of defenders. He is so quick. He's so strong. You know what? what, what I, I'm just treading old ground. What can be said about Aguero that hasn't been said already? Man United, on the other hand, Ibrahimovic is definitely a solid signing for them, I think. Especially on a free as well. I can't believe that. Um, you know, I mean, well, I don't think he's as good as Aguero is. 
But obviously, you know, on a free, you can't get any better than Ibrahimovic, especially with his physique, his, you know, strength. He's, he's big and powerful. He's really, really tall as hell. You know, honestly, you wouldn't want to come against him if you were a short centre back. Um, but, you know. Uh, Pogba as well in midfield, I think, could be the steal in midfield. He could really affect the game for Manchester United. And Bailey, apparently, the centre back has done very well since coming in. Which you probably would expect with a Jose Mourinho signing. Now, here's the thing, and I was listening to um, some previews of the game that Man United um, will have a physical presence. They will really try to physically outbattle Manchester City. And I'm going to be curious to see what Man City's tactics are without Aguero. Now, like I said before, this game, I think. Whoever wins this game, I think it, it, it will go some way, I think, to decide where the title goes. Now, it might not. I could be completely wrong. But it won't be the end of the world for one team should they um, lose it. Because there's still 34 league games after this. But I do think that whoever does win this will have a, will obviously have an, a, point, a points advantage over you know the other. And I certainly think that it, it, it's a statement of intent. If Man United are going to be... For Manchester United, if they're going to be serious about trying to challenge for the title and win it, they've got to try and beat Man City. Now, having said that, if the game was level going in, like I said, if somehow the game was level or nil-nil going in the final 20 minutes, does Jose Mourinho go all-out attack as the home team? I'll be very curious to see what happens with that. Having said that, I don't think that he would go, I don't think he'd risk going all-out attack and try and get the win for the sake of, um, try, of, of um, not risking losing the game. Because I think... The example I think the example I think was back to the 14-15 season where Mourinho was obviously Chelsea manager and it was them and Man City pretty much for the title, even though in the end it didn't it wasn't really a competition in the end. But um I remember coming back from a Sunderland game and the Chelsea Man City was the um five thirty kickoff. And Chelsea I think were I think it was five points ahead of Man City at that stage, I can't quite remember. But all I remember is that Chelsea um went one nil up against Man City. And City, who had to win, pretty much, to have any chance of winning the league, I think, realistically, um, equalised. But from then on, Chelsea didn't play for the win. They kind of, Well, not play for the draw, but they were certainly... They would have wanted to have won the game, but they wouldn't have gone all-out attack to the point where they would risk losing it. And, you know, and bearing in mind, Chelsea had, a point, had a point advantage over City at that stage. And obviously, it was over halfway into the season. But, you know, it's still huge. Now, I think Mourinho... I think I think Mourinho certainly would not want would certainly he will not want to lose this game not in in any way shape or form at home in a dar I hope in a Manchester derby but more importantly at home to a team that you're going to be expecting to compete with for the Premier League title. Pep Guardiola, like I said, are we in, are we interested to see if he actually tries to go for a point or if he tries to actually obviously obviously both managers of course will want to win, but it's a game I think both managers in re retrospect of each other will probably not want to lose more than anything else. Because even at this stage, defeat could still have massive implications come later in the season. Um, obviously, I did predict these two to try and challenge for the title. Um, Chelsea, I haven't mentioned Chelsea very much. Chelsea, um, well, when you look at how their players all of a sudden look interesting, look half arsed well then look all of a sudden what happens for you. But um, no, I think Chelsea, the advantage they've got is they've got no European football. But I still think that... It, I don't know what it is. I just think that the the title is destined to be in Manchester this season. Now, it could be wrong. It could go somewhere else. Um, we could have it, Sunderland. <laughs> no, of course we won't. But at the same time, you know, th th this Manchester derby is going to be huge for me, especially because of the two managers involved. Now, the Manchester derby in recent years now has always been a big game. It's always been a big occasion. But even with the two managers in retrospect now, with Jose Mourinho and Pep Guardiola, tactically going at each other this is going to be very interesting what's been mentioned is that City will have a lot of the possession but Man United and I think Jose Mourinho teams usually don't dominate possession unless of course it's against like the likes of Hull and Burnley West Brom Bournemouth Watford Sunderland etc you know against teams like that they would dominate the ball a lot but in huge games I can't remember a game where, where Chelsea would have a lot of possession well when Chelsea under Mourinho had a lot of possession and I can't think Man United would have a lot of possession um, and like I've said in the past plenty of times, mm, sorry about that, I'm struggling to stop you on. And, um, you know, in the past, um, I've said obviously countless times, if you have possession, all the possession in the world, it doesn't mean anything if you don't actually hurt your opponents. So in that sense, I think Man, Man City will have a lot of the ball with a Guardiola team, but I think Man United will have a tactical plan 
to try and I think I, I, I'm going to be very you know I think we'll have a plan to try and snuff out the possession and they'll say oh you can have as much of the ball as you like I wouldn't be surprised if Man United have the bulk of the chances given that again that they're at home City without Aguero they've got a bit more physical team uh, even though Man City's team I think is better than Man United's and certainly in a technical sense but we'll see anyway guys we're listening now I obviously in a group chat with all my friends we have Premier League prediction stuff malarkey it's just a bit of fun it's the same system, you know, that Mark Lawrenson uses, for example, with his predictions. It's one point for correct result and three for correct score. I went for 1-1, one, one, um, but uh, I'm going to say I would not be surprised if this ended up nil nil. Um, I'm, I'm hoping I'm wrong because as a neutral, I don't really care too much who wins this game. But I would love to see an, an open game. I'd love to see like a 3-3, three, 4-4 three, four, four, or someone wins 5-4, five, 7-5. Five. You know, it's not going to be like that, obviously. Um, but I'd, I wouldn't be surprised if it did end a goal or straw. And especially for the Indian pack that the both teams would not want, both managers would not want to lose, essentially. Uh, and like I said, if it ends a point, it'll be a far better result for City than United, especially without Aguero. But we will see, guys. Anyway, let's get let's see. Not long now until the most watched game in the world. Well, so it seems anyway. Hmm. Manchester Derby, Pep, Jose Mourinho versus Pep Guardiola. Let's see who comes out on top. And I will see you guys later. I am so looking forward to this game. See you later, guys.